what's happening guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today so last week i spoke to you about depression but in this video we will be talking about the five main types of anxiety disorders as well as the anxiety disorder that i personally deal with and i will also be giving you guys three very important tips to help you deal with your anxiety a lot better so let's get started Now before we get started, I do have to put out a disclaimer, please do not use this video to self-diagnose yourself. This is a video to give you a guide so that you can understand what the five types of anxiety disorders are, but I can help you understand it a little bit better. Now, what is anxiety disorder? Anxiety disorder is a mental health disorder that is categorized by feelings of fear, worry, as well as anxiety that is so strong that it affects your everyday life. The first anxiety disorder that we're going to talk about is obsessive compulsive disorder, otherwise known as OCD. Obsessive compulsive disorder is categorized by recurrent unwanted thoughts, which is otherwise known as obsession, as well as compulsions such as repetitive behavior. Now granted you guys this is a very extreme example of showing what OCD can do but this is just an example to give you guys an idea of what it is. It could be washing your hands multiple times obviously now because corona that is an exception or you could be double checking or triple checking or even checking 10 times that you've locked your door so you would leave your house go back home just to check did i really lock the door even if you check it you still think the door is maybe unlocked so you keep on going back and forth thinking that the door is not locked meanwhile the door is locked so you end up having so many obsessions and so many compulsions that you experience with this condition number two panic disorder now panic disorder is usually characterized by unwanted as well as repeated intense episodes of fear usually accompanied by physical symptoms such as chest pain heart palpitations as well as abdominal irritations and these are just some of the symptoms that you could face if you have a panic disorder normally somebody that is struggling with panic disorders has to have a moment where they try to keep themselves calm because if they don't do that they will experience really bad panic attacks number three post-traumatic stress disorder otherwise known as ptsd now ptsd is an anxiety disorder that is normally triggered after an event that was either threatening to your physical health or was a terrifying ordeal and it keeps on playing in your mind either when you sleep you have nightmares about this event or when you are daydreaming, you are constantly thinking about this thing. And sometimes it doesn't happen all the time. It could just happen every now and again, but unfortunately when it does happen, you end up feeling so anxious about it because you are remembering what happened. Now these events can include situations such as rape, being a victim of abuse, or having gone to the military. You'll sometimes hear a lot of stories from military men that are struggling with PTSD. They don't wanna talk about it. They don't wanna talk about their military experience they don't want to talk about what had happened they don't want to talk about that trigger because so many things triggers an emotion that they know they cannot control and this gives them so much anxiety and there is help for this condition all you have to do is just speak up don't forget now I am interrupting this program to let you guys know that if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to like subscribe as well as comment below and let me know what your thoughts are so far now let's get back to the video number four Social phobia, otherwise known as social anxiety disorder. It is a condition that is categorized by overwhelming as well as excessive self-consciousness in everyday social situations. Now this means that when you are around other people, you are either too scared to talk in front of them, you are either too scared to eat in front of them, drink in front of them, or even be yourself in front of them. And it is giving you so much anxiety that you end up avoiding any social contact with other people. You don't want to be around social events. You don't want to be around a lot of people that you are not comfortable with or people that are new to you and it is normal to have these feelings however if they are excessive and they are very overwhelming to you to a point where you avoid 
all social contact with other people you may be struggling with social phobia or social anxiety disorder you just need to seek treatment with other psychotherapy as well as medication to help you deal with the condition a lot better i am an extrovert i love being around people so that is one condition that i fully do not understand so if you are struggling with social phobia please leave a comment below so that i can also learn from you guys on what you think social phobia is as well as how we can help other people that are dealing with it to combat it better at the end of the day people will judge you whether you're doing good whether you're doing bad so I just choose to kind of ignore bad energy in my channel i like to give positive vibes i like to talk to you guys as if you are right in my house which is why i like to sit on my couch and get comfortable with you guys but when you have social phobia this is something that you are unable to do and so i encourage you guys to do yourself a favor and try to get out of your comfort zone one day at a time this is a long and gradual process so it will not change overnight so do be patient with yourself and give yourself time number five which is the last anxiety disorder and that is generalized anxiety disorder otherwise known as GAD is chronic anxiety as well as unwanted tension and an exaggerated sense of worry about everyday things and sometimes there is little or nothing at all to provoke that feeling I know more about this topic you guys because I personally suffer from anxiety disorder and as I mentioned in my previous depression video I was diagnosed with anxiety disorder when I was 17 and sometimes just an appointment just something as simple as an appointment can bring me so much anxiety that i don't even know how to control it sometimes these feelings of worry can be so unrealistic like for example you could be walking down in the street but your anxiety could be oh my god what if somebody came right now and stole my phone or oh my god what if somebody came threw me with a ball i fell down and i tripped and i broke a leg and i'll never be able to walk ever again certain things that seem unrealistic to other people although they are likely a possibility they are very unlikely to happen sometimes you know that you are being irrational with your worry you know that this is something that you shouldn't be worried about but unfortunately you cannot control it if you guys want to know more about anxiety disorder or you want some more in-depth discussion regarding anxiety disorder please comment below and let me know so that i can get to it and post it on my channel Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, as well as share this video. I hope you guys have learned something today and I hope you guys remember that anxiety disorder is a mental illness that can be treated and you can live your life with it. I am currently living with it and I am living a very happy life because I am currently going through therapy as well as certain treatments that I have recently started and I will be letting you guys know in future on how that has gone for me. But thank you so much for joining me. Until the next video, keep well. Oh, before I go, I would like you guys to stick around on my channel and check on other videos that might be interesting to you. But until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below and share this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye now.